Hi, I'm James with Yeti Ice Blasting and today we're in downtown Cincinnati working in an apartment building that's just had a complex chemical fire go through five different stories of the space. And one of the things we love about using our cold jet ice blasters is that we can come into a building like this where there's soot and odor on the lumber, the masonry, in the, uh, the window cavities, everything, and we can clean all of it and deodorize it in one step with no secondary cleanup and no chemicals. The way this works is in three steps. Firstly, impact. The, the dry ice pellets are, are rushing through the hoses and the guns so quickly that they make a physical impact on the adherent that's sitting on the substrate. Secondly, they embrittle that adherent by making it very, very cold and it can contracts uh, as it embrittles. And thirdly, as it does that, the dry ice expands 800 times and actually lifts that embrittled adherent from the substrate. And that's how the dry ice process works in a situation just like this. The setup we're using today, we have the compressor down on the street level and then we're bringing the hoses up three and four different levels with, um, with decreasing width on the hoses to maintain pressure the further we get away. The challenges we have are that today it's humid and it's hot outside and so we're working against the natural weather that we're standing in that. Uh, humidity leads to quicker sublimation of our material and what we're looking to do is bring the cleanest, crispest ice that we can to the very top levels of this building to maintain the speed that we can produce this, uh, this finished product at.